My name is Andrew, and I am a Partner Operations Program Manager for our ad support teams at Google. As a Partner Operations Program Manager, I work with our ad support teams who are providing direct support to our advertising customers. When I was graduating high school, I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life or I guess what I wanted to be when I grew up, so to speak. So I was fortunate enough to attend the United States Naval Academy uh, for four years where I graduated uh, with a college degree, but also uh, with a background in leadership to enter the Navy as an officer and lead sailors. The team that I joined was the submarine community and left Annapolis to go to Charleston, South Carolina, where I uh, entered our nuclear power training program. It's a pretty grueling six, month, uh, six months of theoretical nuclear engineering and then six months of hands-on reactor training. It being a very difficult program, unfortunately, it didn't quite work out for me. And, and nuclear engineering is something that still challenges me a bit to this day. I ended up getting out of the Navy a little bit earlier than I expected to. And so I had to reassess where I was and what I was doing and really figure out what I wanted to do after the Navy much sooner than I had originally anticipated. When I left the Navy, I was fortunate enough to have a friend who was actually working at Google at the time and understood a bit more of my background um, and helped me to really understand where I might be able to leverage my skills outside of the Navy and as I, as I entered the civilian world. So I put together my first resume and started applying to jobs, but it really took me a couple of months to figure out how to apply for jobs well. I didn't have a ton of direction on where I wanted to go uh, or what industry I wanted to be in. And I spent probably five or six months applying to you know, jobs that interested me or jobs that looked like they could be a fit. It was a bit um, taxing. You know, you apply for a job and you wait and you wait and you wait, and then you finally kind of get that rejection letter. And uh, you just you know, hope that one day somebody kind of takes, takes a, a chance on you. So when I started connecting with a few more of my peers to understand what they were having success with, that's when you know, the, the light bulb clicked for me that I needed to do a better job of telling companies why they should hire me and why I would be a good fit at their company. I think I learned a, that the most important thing for me was going to be not just telling people about my military experience, but telling people about how my military experience makes me a good fit for you know, the role that they have open. Um, really trying to translate some of the skills that I did have, even if they weren't direct, directly related experience, translating how those skills would make me uh, a good hire or would make me a successful member of their teams. Once I started making a, a better effort to tell my own story and own my experiences, I started to see more success when I was actually interviewing. I think it's important to always be looking for new opportunities to learn. I didn't have a formal background in digital marketing, and yet I still was able to get into this industry and find success um, by being willing to learn, you know, keeping an open mind when approaching new opportunities and asking a lot of questions. For anybody who's transitioning out of military service, my number one recommendation would be to talk with people who are in the civilian world already, whether that's other military folks who have transitioned previously or just friends, family, you know, acquaintances who, who are already in the industry or in the, in the area that you want to be in, whether that's asking for informational interviews to get to know more about our role or more about an industry or asking for somebody to look over your resume to give you feedback about, you know, what's confusing or what could be clearer or how do you better describe some of your experience. Don't be afraid to ask for help from people who are already in the role, who have that experience and can share some of that knowledge with you as somebody who's just joining the team.